Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're gonna to be running PUBG on iOS on the iPad 2017 model. Yes, we got to borrow it again and today we're gonna to be playing PUBG and seeing how it performs. Now, I've already tested it for about 10 minutes, but I decided to stop right there and start over with a video from start to finish. So before we get started, a couple things. We first have a Bluetooth speaker that's gonna be blasting in the background right there. It's actually hooked up through a direct line to the iPad through a splitter, which gives us the HyperX Cloud 2s that are paired up with the Brainwave pads that I'm gonna be reviewing very soon. And I gotta say guys, these are some amazing comfortable air pads. If you have an HyperX or any headset like an Audio Technica, these are a must have. They have a bunch of different variations, but uh, enough about that. We're gonna have a video dedicated about that. They're just amazing ear pads that I'm gonna definitely give my commander stamp approval, which is something I haven't given in a long while. And here's a quick look at the graphics setting frame rate and graphics are both set to high. And currently there are no styles to be used on iOS. So feature update, they're gonna enable that. So let's go ahead and actually just do solos. And yeah, let's get started with my naked body. I mean, what? Sorry off the bat, it's a pretty nice experience. Everything is nice and smooth and overall very, uh, very responsive indeed. So I could have actually streamed this iPad screen onto a full video where it's full screen without me and my hands in there. But I thought it would be better if I have my hands on the video and show you guys what it looks like. So the video can give you a better idea of how responsive the touchscreen and the display are. Yeah, graphics right now looks beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. It looks better than some people on PC and it definitely looks much better than the one on the Xbox. I'm starting to think that the plane keeps going the same direction. It's always going over Pachinki. Yeah, let's go to Gatka, why not? My majestic body, flying through the air. Definitely need a shirt. Alright, so I'm now starting to feel the lag in this game. Uh, the iPad is obviously heating up real nicely. But let's see how far the iPad will last with uh, at least 30 FPS or some playable frame rates. The thing is, it's not about how much frames it can get, it's about how long it can keep them at there. And uh, if there are any dips. Because the worst thing that can happen while playing a competitive game like PUBG, especially on mobile, is uh, when your frame rate drops and you're in a fight. So, that's the worst thing that can happen. Yeah, there's like no loot here. Oh, someone's around here. There's two people. Like right now, the game is lagging just a tiny bit, and there's someone around here. Wait, I did not kill them? No, I did kill them. Now, something I noticed in this game, there's always someone playing with a friend on solos, which, uh, yeah, those people suck a lot, but I keep killing them. All right, let's actually go ahead and find a car. Now, right now, it's not looking so good. The game is already slowing down. By that time, we get to like 20 people. It's going to be pretty bad. Um, once again, even with a powerful iPad like this, it's obviously going to heat up. So, the least thing you could do is drop your graphic settings, unfortunately. And then, if that doesn't help, then drop it to 30 FPS as well. So that's something I'm going to be trying out later on, maybe next video, maybe this video. I'll just give you my highlights. Oh, I see someone right there. <laughs> right in the back. Let's see if we can get them from here. Hey, what do you know? We got them on mobile, very far, with a hollow sight. Now, of course, people are going to be around around us, so let's quickly move out of here and uh, quickly scan. Now, something about mobile that you're not going to like is how uh, the displays actually display a lot of motion blur when moving around. It's very hard to see stuff. Maybe I'm just used to my 165Hz uh, monitor, but it's very prevalent here when you're looking around, especially when moving. Things kind of tend to blur. No, iPad. There we go. Yep, that sounds like an SKS. Two people, see that? Playing together. Either that or they're both bots or something, or people just don't notice people following them. The pistol showed up as reloaded when I first picked it up, but I got out of the car and it wasn't. Alright, the iPad heated up, it was pretty laggy. Now I'm gonna go ahead, let it cool down, and start the game from zero on uh, the lowest settings. And see how it performs that way. 
All right, we'll be back in a bit. All right, so here we go, running on the lowest settings with the lowest frame rate. So we're gonna keep it at max frame rate and lowest settings graphics and see how it goes. If it starts heating up, I'll drop it to 45 or medium settings and then we'll see how it goes from there. I believe I can fly. Some very nice loot. Mini 14. You know what? I'm going to put my headphones on and see how it goes. Oh boy. Yeah, I was about to switch my microphone so I can see better because the microphone is on top of my camera right here. Yeah, I'm gonna stop jumping out of the car when there's someone around. Very nice. Alright, so now it's starting to warm up. Uh, not too bad. Frame rates are still pretty okay. Definitely not 60 FPS, that's for sure. So if we go ahead and quickly go into settings, graphics, go to medium, it should pretty much feel the same. Uh, no, not as much. Yeah, I'm trying to find the guy who's shooting. There's at least two guys here. Lol. There he is. You can see how much motion blur there is. I can barely see anything. It's just nothing. And the thing that adds to the motion blur, it's the smoothness. It doesn't stop where you want to stop, so you can actually see what you're doing. Yeah, that's not a bot. All right, I need a new car. Ring out of gas here. Do I have any gas in inventory? Did I pick up any? Yep. Wow. Okay. All right, they're busy here. Use quickly. Very nice. Always bring gas. All right, now that the iPad is much warmer, let's see if we can keep a consistent. Uh, whoop, sixty FPS. Switch to high. All right, crucial moments are right here. If I lose, I'm gonna blame the frames. Oh, there's a drop. No wonder there's people there. Yeah, he had the better angle. Okay, so. Yeah, definitely keep the iPad on medium settings, frame rates, and uh, lowest settings graphics. And that's pretty much it, because it didn't seem like it was going to go any higher in uh, terms of heat. All right, uh, that's it for this video. That's uh, about, like, what, an hour worth of footage I have to cut down. So yeah, if you want to play PUBG on the latest iPad, then have the frame rate set to high. And if it does start heating up and lagging, then set it to medium. And uh, definitely have quality always on low, because otherwise it's going to heat up, and you're simply going to lose the game real quick. That's all for this video, so thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe and comment like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.